Is uh, Donald Trump in, in Westchester uh, at the um, well, one of the Trump Gulf resorts? Um, he is going to deliver a major policy speech next week. Um, oh wait, I'm sorry, not policy speech. Uh, he is going to deliver a major stand-up routine about uh, the Clintons next week, and here he is announcing it. The years of disappointment. There's one thing we all have learned. We can't fix the rig system by relying on very, and, and I mean this so, so strongly, on the very people who rigged it. And they rigged it. And do not ever think anything differently. Pause we it. can't solve it. It's so funny because like whenever he veers off the script, his syntax gets so messed up. Um, you'll recall that when he ran in the uh, primary, he's like, I'm one of the guys who paid into the system. <laughs> but here he is saying that those people who rigged it, well, whatever. I, I, why am I? That level of scrutiny is like, it's like literally going uh, to me to my son and just saying like my three-year-old son, like, you know, dude, will you please put together three or four complex sentences at a time? You said fart in my face, but now you want a sandwich. You right. need to be more coherent. Right. Are you our going... Okay, sorry. ...by counting on the politicians who created our problems. The Clintons have turned the politics of personal enrichment into an art form for themselves. <laughs> They've made... Hundreds of millions of dollars selling access, selling favors, selling government contracts, and I mean hundreds of millions of dollars. Secretary Clinton. Pause even it. Now, we know um, from uh, our interview with Wayne Barrett and, and really a tremendous amount of reporting that the, um, the Trump fortune, I'm speaking largely of his father's, I mean, it was, I guess, uh, Donald's, but his father uh, co-signed everything and was really making the deals. It was all based upon uh, basically paying off people and getting government contracts. Um, so it's a little bit, um, a little bit of a quinky, quinky dink. Also, you know, to their credit, um, the Clintons never did a uh, real estate scams or actually like things like. Trump University, which just seemed like a complete, I mean, this is full on, this is full on cinnamon will cure your uh, diabetes. Frankly, deals with the Saudis that are questionable in international foundation look tremendously classy and compared to a real estate. Scam. Mafia yeah. dealings, whatever. Good. Did all of the work on a totally illegal private server. Something that how she's getting away with this, folks, nobody understands. Designed to keep her corrupt dealings out of the public record, putting the security of the entire country at risk, and a president in a corrupt system is totally protecting her. Not right. I am going to give a major speech on probably Monday of next week, and we're going to be discussing all of the things that have taken place with the Clintons. I think you're going to find it very informative. And very, very interesting. I love the. I am going to give a major, major speech, probably on Monday. Um, I gotta see. I've got a weave appointment on Sunday evening, and I usually like 12 hours for the hair to settle down after the week. And then I have a meeting with Junior Genovese <laughs> on a new hotel and garbage contract. And then uh, we're actually working on another uh, university scam in case this thing doesn't pan out. So maybe, you know what, the whole blow the lid off of global corruption thing might be better on Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Hello, you. I'm Sam Cedar. Looking for smart, progressive talk that is occasionally amusing? Well, subscribe to our YouTube feed. Subscribe to our podcast. Like us on Facebook. And 
just generally enjoy us.